Welcome back, one and all, to the Weekender's Edge. I am your host, Nick Simonson, outdoors writer with My Materials Online at NewsDakota.com and DakotaEdge.com. Great to be with you here in the final weekend of March. So let's take the next three days, wrap them all up into three minutes, so you can get the most out of your late ice action. Starting out on Friday the 25th, gusty is the word of the day as your day starts out in the low 30s when you crawl out of bed. Highs getting into the lower 40s, but those winds are going to be trucking in from the northwest, 25 to 40 miles and our gusts across that hard water as things melt. Those northwest gales are going to be punishing during the day. They will start to taper later into the evening, so you may have that opportunity to sneak out on the ice for that sunset walleye bite. But as we turn to Saturday, things are looking great on the 26th. This is our pick of the weekend as winds calm down 10 to 20 miles an hour out of the north. Lows in the lower 20s at dawn. Highs getting near 40 in the afternoon, so it will be a good day for you to get on the ice as that pressure gradient shifts. Clouds will also build in during the afternoon giving you an excellent chance to catch some of those late season walleyes through the ice. That last quarter moon also will help with the conditions and with the bite, making things on Saturday perfect for our pick of the weekend. As we turn to Sunday, those winds will shift to the east. We are starting off that clay target league season. Lows in the lower 20s, highs in the middle 30s, but as we mentioned, those chilly, damp east winds will be 18 to 25 miles an hour, bringing that moisture, bringing that backside of the system into our area. And as they say, winds from the east fish bite the least but don't let that cancel your day sunday should be salvageable but saturday is looking gorgeous as our pick of the weekend and with these warming melting conditions out there folks are keeping their eyes on the trap house and the start of the clay target league season for that we caught up with john nelson president of the usa high school clay target league to learn more about their record numbers the spring season where registration just ended just this week uh, we have over thirty-one thousand student athletes that are representing over 1400 teams coached by more than 8,000 coaches in 34 states. So not only the addition of the more kids that are coming to sports is we see more and more kids that are participating in sporting clays and ski and five stand. The most amazing part about this is because the league has a 20% turnover each year, we had to backfill that 20% off of our 27,000 number last year. And that's over 5,000 kids that we had to replace. In addition to that, we grew the league by you know almost 4,000, almost 10,000 new student athletes athletes are introduced to the sport of of clay target shooting and many of those are are first-time shooters so what it means for the league is fantastic but what it means for the rest of the shooting sport community and states and wildlife conservation and the excise taxes that help everyone benefits from all these new people getting involved in shooting sports that was john nelson with usa ctl filling us in on a great season to come that wraps up our show for this week folks have a safe and enjoyable one out there for the weekender's edge i'm nick simonson good fishing to ya Ah.